Hey, it sounds great. I'll get the figures over to you before end of business. All right, you too. Bye-bye. So like I was saying, yeah, we didn't leave the party until almost midnight, and by then I was totally hammered. Marissa had to drive. Wow, must have been a good party. Yeah, it was pretty good. Anyway, so while she's driving home, I start to rub her leg, you know? Here we go. At first, I'm rubbing her leg down by her knee, and she's not complaining, so I slowly start creeping up her leg until I'm about an inch from her. Uh, guys, uh, trying to focus here? Oh, sorry, sorry Frank. Frank. Jeez. Sounds like you had some fun. I didn't go out, but I still had a blast with Sarah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, sounds like somebody got laid, huh? Hey, did you try that trick I told you about with the Altoids? That drives Marissa crazy. No, I didn't. I forgot. But I did get her to let me try something new. <laughs> hey, did she enjoy it or did she make you stop after 30 seconds like most chicks? No, she got into it. She is such a nasty... So what are you going to get Marissa for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I picked up some candles and some body oil. You know, hopefully that crap's going to put her in the mood. <laughs> well, Sarah wants me to make a romantic dinner at home. I can't complain. We don't have to travel too far from the dinner table to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you order those heart-shaped handcuffs from the website? What's the haps, Frank? What's the, what's the haps? I'll tell you what's the haps. I cannot concentrate and focus on my work. Well, that sounds like a problem we should discuss. What's the issue? Vulgar, inappropriate conversations mainly. I'm sick and tired of the tasteless locker room talk. Every single day I hear Jimmy and Chris talking about their sex lives. I just try and tune it out, Frank. Tune it out? They sit less than five feet away from me. How am I supposed to do that? It's just silly talk about relationships. Lighten up. 